What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. And as you guys can see on the screen, we are ready to start our third season here in Ultimate Team. I wish I could say that I'm further into this game, but unfortunately, with the new baby and everything like that, I haven't had as much time to play as a lot of other people have. So yes, I am sitting here in the pro division, but that doesn't mean necessarily that I'm terrible. Well, maybe it does. I don't know. You guys will have to decide based off of the gameplay footage and that kind of stuff. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I know a lot of you guys think I suck. Some of you think I'm really good. Um, I'm not trying to say I'm the best Madden player in the world, but you know, just trying to have fun playing and everything like that. That's what it's all about for me. So uh, in this game, guys, you are going to see some new players on my team. You can see right there that I was user controlling. That is actually free safety Calvin Johnson. Having a lot of fun playing with him. And on offense, we've made a couple new upgrades. Uh, my opponent's team, not great in this game, but not bad either. Uh, probably around the same overall as me, maybe like an 87 and 88, something like that would be my guess based off of the players that he has. But he's doing a great job on this first drive, moving the ball down the field. Uh, short, efficient passes like this are really, really difficult to stop in this game. If somebody is really committed to throwing the ball short, it's very difficult to stop it uh, unless you just commit on stopping it. And then you're really vulnerable over the over the top, of course. So, you know, I'm, I'm letting him have the short passes early because typically people will eventually give up on those short passes and they'll try and go deep. This guy wasn't really trying to go deep, though. He just kept throwing it short, running the ball, uh, making it very, very difficult for me to do anything on defense to make him make a mistake or anything like that. Um, and on this final play of this drive here, watch this pass. Oh, I thought that I was getting that thing. Uh, my linebacker was right there for it. And frankly, I was right there with my safety as well. Uh, but as you guys can see here on offense, we have quarterback Walter Payton. And yeah, we're going to run the read option in this one, guys. Uh, the read option is extremely effective if you know how to run it, of course. Um, but I am going to try and just run the football straight as well. That is actually rookie Marshall Falk, not a legend or anything like that. It's just a standard rookie Marshall Falk. And yeah. My opponent is going to user his defensive line quite a bit in this one, and that's very difficult to stop when you try and run the ball. So I eventually did have to punt, and this is kind of what happened. Ugly, ugly, ugly kick coverage on that drive, and I'm looking pretty bad in this one, honestly, uh, until this. Get over here! Yeah, we get the beautiful interception there. That is Chris Harris. He comes up with a big pick to save us and bail us out of trouble. And we're back on offense. And look at that spin move by Marshall Falk. That was delicious. And he is off to the races not to be caught by the defense. Oh, that spin move was so dirty. I love when I hit a spin move like that. There just isn't any better feeling in this game than just completely destroying your opposition with that spin. So I uh, love that. We're tied up here. 7-7, seven to seven, 2 minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock here in the half. Both of us have had a decent drive. Well, I guess I shouldn't say I had a drive. I basically had one play that went for a touchdown. Um, but, yeah, so the, the score is still tied up here as Calvin Johnson lays the wood there on my opponent. But, again, we drop an interception, man. And I thought for sure that when I make some of these upgrades that my team would start to get more interceptions. And it's just, it doesn't seem to happen. Like, it, it, it just, they throw the ball directly at my guys, and they just don't catch it. And I know a lot of you are saying, you have to user it, you have to user it. You should not have to user a player who is open, the ball being thrown to him, basically. I mean, that is just crazy. I, I don't understand how this game could possibly justify that. But, you know, it is what it is. I guess at this point, I, I need to start trying to use her more when they throw the ball at my defense even. I just always feel like I'm going to make a mistake if I try and do that. And it, it costs me. Like, on that play there, I probably could have stepped in and tried to intercept it. But I thought my guy was there. And it ends up that my opponent gets a field goal to end the first half. And he is playing this read option now pretty tough. As you can see, he is pretty much usering a defensive lineman or a player who's blitzing every single play, and he's pretty much just like sprinting right at the at the offense. So uh, right here, though, we are going to make a beautiful pass here on third and twelve. Walter Payton makes the pass to Demarius Thomas, tiptoe catch on the sidelines. I love seeing that, but we're still struggling again to run the football. Ever since that one run that Marshall Falk had, we've had a really tough time. And here I am, for whatever reason, it says that I threw it past the line of scrimmage. I don't think I was that far ahead of it, but, you know, the game the game doesn't lie. I guess ball doesn't lie. So uh, I am going to lose the ball there. Um, I had to punt. 
didn't get beat with a deep return that time, or a long return, I should say. But again, we drop more and more interceptions on defense. 15 of 20, this guy is throwing the football in. I swear, just about every incompletion that he had was just a gun directly at one of my players. So it is really frustrating when you're not getting those interceptions. We did get the one with Chris Harris as he knocks this pass away, thankfully, finally making another good play in the, in the secondary. Uh, but when you're not getting those picks, it just puts you on rage mode, man. It really does as we drop another one. I mean, that was just, he swatted it away, but it gives these guys another opportunity. And this is third and 15 here. And finally, we get another interception. He threw that one basically into triple coverage. Both of my safeties were there and I was using a guy that was really close there. So I don't understand why these people make these passes, but uh, I guess I'm not immune to them either. I throw picks from time to time as well, as you guys saw in my, uh, in my last game. Uh, in the last season, but again, look at this. He just runs his guys through my def or my offensive line. It's just insane. I, I wish that using a defensive lineman was not so effective in this game, but I mean, it it's just it seems like people just do it over and over again, and I don't know why it's so effective. But they really, really changed a lot of this game, and it really is effective to straight user your defensive lineman in your when you're playing head-to-head -head season games, as you see him there run through again completely untouched and make a tackle in the backfield absolutely crazy thankfully we are still making plays in the passing game walter payton was injured there and he is going to go out for the rest of the game but finally we get through his defense and run for a touchdown we take the lead there 14 to 10 two minutes and 11 seconds left in this one guys and my opponent is back on offense. I've had a really tough time stopping him, especially with these short passes. So I was pretty worried. I'm not even going to lie. I really, really was. And especially when he makes this throw, I that was my zone. I definitely should have been using that, and I wasn't. But finally, we get another interception. And guys, he is pretty much going to put this game away. Finally, he is taken down by an offensive lineman, which is a whole nother issue with this game that I'm not going to get into at this time, but we are going to get into the end zone again here with another run. This is Denard Robinson, rising star, and we put this game away 21 to 10. Very, very happy as we get another interception here with Sean Lee. It seems like late in the game that I'm able to get more interceptions, and I can't complain about that because that's the time when you really want to get the interceptions, but man... For the rest of the game, it is frustrating when you don't get those picks. But very, very happy to walk away with a W in this one. Scored 21 unanswered points in the fourth quarter to come back and win this thing. 7-10 to to start the fourth quarter, and we end up winning 28-10. to So I'm very, very happy about that one. Excited to get this season started with a 1-0 start. Really looking forward to trying making a Super Bowl run this year. I haven't been able to do it in either of my first two seasons, so we're going to try and do it in the next season, or this season, I should say. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys again soon.